Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight we've got Red Tape, a bureaucratic horror game from Dread XP. Uh, we're going to go through it. Um, I started it just a minute ago and then looked over and realized I wasn't recording. So we're going to go through it again from the start. When an angel falls... It can be very disorienting. But don't worry, we're here to help. Just remember these three tips. Tip one, follow your boss's commands. Do not question authority. Tip two, be productive. Work as if your life depends on it. Tip three, help others. Hey, help me torture this guy. If it's hard, just remember. Doom. Don't be lazy, obey your masters, offer your help, maintain organization. Work well, you're in hell. Hell Incorporated. Oh, the TV is broken again, flimsy old thing. Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? All of that would have been answered in the video. Who are you? Well, let me try to fill you in. Hello, my name is Virgil and you are in hell. What? But I'm an angel. I can't be here. Technically, not anymore. What do you mean? You fell. It can't be. I was in heaven, then everything went dark, and... Well, you must have got the Game Master really pissed. Not only did you fall, but you're marked high priority. But this ain't right. I need to talk to someone. I don't belong here. Oh, you knew demons always say that. When you were betraying the Game Master, you didn't think about the consequences, did you? I never betrayed him, and I'm not a demon. Well, I have no say on this. I'm only here to help you in your adaptation process. The thing is, you were an angel, you fell, and now you're a Hell Inc. employee. I think that's all the video said. This is not right. Well, keep your protest to yourself. What you need to do now is lose this angel form and be registered as a demon. But I don't want to. I want to talk to your superior. And you will. But you need to do as I say first. And what is that? To start, you need to leave this room and follow the corridor until you get to the registration room. Okay, but this ain't over. I'm sure it isn't. Can't do anything with the drawers. Work, don't stall. Fraud, volume one. Holy Bible. Hell Incorporated. Could use some uh, decorating tips. It's us. Angelic. You just have to talk to Ugarit and Imar and they will help you get registered and get a physical form. All right. Hey, you must be here to get a demon name, right? I guess so. Actually, I wanted to talk to the boss of this place. You probably want to talk to the director, but you can't do that without a name, can you? I'm pretty sure I can. No, you can't, silly thing. Now, be a nice demon and create a name for yourself. Remember, it must be very devilish and scary. Hey, 
Hey there, you must be here to get your demonic form, right? No, I'm an angel. Not anymore, you aren't. Now you are a demon and you must look like one. This form of yours is too abstract. My head hurts. But I just need to talk to the superior here. First, get this physical form. Then you can talk to him. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do we got over here? Nothing good. Helcome. Uh, use a mouse wheel to switch between items. Wasta to, to move. Explore the map and have a nice day at work. Work well when you are in hell. Nice. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you nice and registered. How do you like your new demon form? I hate it. I want to talk to your superior now. You can do that now. Just walk across the hall and enter the door on the right. You can't miss it. I'm going to fix this misunderstanding once and for all. Red tape. All right. We are actually recording this time, so... Already doing better than last time. Uh, it's a nice fountain. There are some coins at the bottom. Do we need the coins? Should we take the coins? I guess not. Uh, what are you? Can't read that. Hi, how can I help? Hey, I'm new here. I'm an angel. Wow, that's cool, I guess. I want to know how I can get out of here. You can't. You're stuck here. We're all stuck here. Don't seem happy about it either. I'm not. I hate it here. And I hate this job. I've been here for more than a thousand years. That's sad. Yeah, I got used to sadness. Okay then. Uh, where's the director's office? It's behind you on the left. Thanks. Um... Uh got to be this one. I like the purple. Hey there, you must be the new kid. Your name is Harkin, right? Yeah, I think so. So, what are your, your expectations for working in hell? Uh, none. I'm not working here. I'm an angel. Oh, I see. You're in demon denial, right? No, because I'm not a demon. I didn't deserve to fall. Look into my eyes, friend. Do you think anyone here deserved to fall? The demons of hell are hardworking. I bet they work 100 times harder than any angel you know. You think you don't deserve hell? It's hell that doesn't deserve you. But I didn't betray anyone. Doesn't matter. You're here now and there's no way to go but down. Which means that if you play by Hell's rules, you might be promoted and get a better position here. But what would a better position do for me? Well, your current position is as a low-level employee. If you want to get similar or more power than you had as an angel, you must earn it. You can have a good career here, kid. You only have to work for it. And how can I do that? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. As your first task, it would be good for you to know your way around Hell. Explore a little bit. Do this. Go to this sector's floors and talk to the directors. See what kind of help they need. This sector? Yeah, this floor and the next two. Not that you would be able to access the others with the permissions you have now. What do you mean? There's a magic seal in the elevator that keeps you from accessing the floors that your role doesn't have permission to go to. But for now, you won't have to think about it. Just go back and talk to Virgil and to the directors of the second and third floors. Did you get all that? I think so. Okie dokie. When you talk to them and help them, ask them to sign this letter of recommendation. Then bring it back to me, all right? Okay. Your future in this company will be bright, kid. Believe me. Have a cigar, you're gonna go far. Can you sign this? Hey there, did you, did hell already sink in? No, I'm still gonna find a way to prove my place isn't here. You new demons, it's always a delight to talk to you. So what can I do to help? 
It seems like I need to help you and get your signature on this recommendation letter. Can I help you in any way so you can sign this? No, you've already done enough for me with your tantrum. Here it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Come visit me once you get used to the place. Do you say anything new? Hi, how can I help? Hey, I'm new here. I'm an angel. All right, we already saw that. Uh, I accidentally clicked again. Go away. Alright. There doesn't appear to be a run button. Uh, reception, human resources, cafeteria. Let's do human resources. I thought that elevator ride would take longer. Uh, Fufoka magazine, social media. Cleopatra, I need to find the manager. What's a demon got to do to get some alcohol around here? Sorry, kid. We ain't open yet. Check back some other time. I hate you so much. Just dropped dead already. Uh, hey, are you two the managers of the store? I'd kill you right now if I could. I'd love to see you try. They don't even notice me. Uh, can you help? Narcissus. Uh, hey, I need to see the manager of this department. You must be the new kid. As you can see, the heads of this department are currently indisposed. You may answer to me for your tasks. Fine, but if I do, can you sign this letter of recommendation for me? If you do your job right, then maybe I will. What should I do then? Let's start with something simple, something even you can handle. Make me a copy of this document. It's impossible to screw this up. Uh, office gossip. I uh, need to make a copy, I guess. No use talking to them now. Crap, this one's not working. Typical. Uh, let's try this one. Need to make a copy, I guess. Finally! Let me see. Oh my god, I was wrong. You somehow managed to screw this up. This is the worst copy I have ever seen. Nope, do it again. I can't accept this. Here, try again. Faster this time. I don't have all day. Give me that. Wow, a five-year-old could make a better copy. Just wow. You know what? Forget it. I'll have the Samson do it. I'll have Samson do it. I'm honorary head of department, not intern babysitter. Go see if anyone else needs anything. I don't care. Uh, I guess let's keep the letter of recognition out. Hey, big guy. Need any help? How do you think you can help me with those tiny spindly arms of yours? Bad physique, ugly hair. Why are you even here? Just leave me alone. I'm very busy. Narcissus asked me to do a bunch of stuff for him. Don't want to disappoint. Is this the circle of self-centeredness, or what are what's happening here? Hmm. Nah, too basic. Not hot enough to work with me. You should know your place. Aren't you just ripping off the fifth element? What's... What are you talking to me about being basic? Okay, 
Narcissus is giving you a rough time, huh? How do you know? He's been giving everyone a rough time. Ever since he got himself the role of honorary head of department. More like stole himself that role. I'm Cupid, by the way. Wait, the real Cupid? The god of passionate desire? What are you doing here? Well, Christianity is pretty popular nowadays. They're not big fans of desire and erotic love. Can you fix this whole situation? Use your bow and arrow to make the bosses fall madly in love again? I could. Someone stole my bow, though. Probably that Cleopatra. She had it out for me since day one. I'll see what I can do. Uh, what do you have? Looking for work, babe? We can get a lot of work done together. Winky face. Sorry, not the kind of work I'm looking for. I do like that skirt, though. Cupid's bow? Why would I want that dreadful old thing? I've had a lifetime of precious artifacts, honey. Unlimited riches. Petty thievery? It's not my style. But I heard a juicy rumor. That Ardat has been acting quite suspicious. Uh, Ardat was the one who propositioned us, right? I know that you stole Cupid's bow. Aw, you found me out. Are you going to arrest me? Put me in handcuffs? Slam me against the wall? Please stop. Just give it back. I really need it. Oh, I don't have it. What? But you said... Come on, babe. We were just playing, weren't we? Unless you really want to cuff me. Slam me up against the... Okay, that, that's enough. Got any leads for me? Anyone who might have stolen the bow? Oh, Killjoy. I don't know. Idlu seems like he'd do something like that. Maybe he did it. I don't care. Fair. Please tell me you have Cupid's bow. Who the hell is Cupid? And who the hell are you? Sorry, but someone as great as me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just send me to the next person. Hmm. Samson was looking a bit on edge lately. That's good enough. I'll talk to him. Samson, do you know who has Cupid's bow? I know. Okay. Well, do you have any other... Wait, you know who has it? I do. But I won't tell you. Why not? It's none of your business. What are you going to do about it, little one? I already told you, I'm not telling you. Leave me alone if you don't want any trouble. Fighting you would only ruin my hair. Okay. I'm really close to finding out who stole your bow. Samson seems to know, but he won't tell me. Figures. He doesn't really engage in gossip. Or anything, really. He just follows Narcissus around like a lost puppy. I'm pretty sure there's something going on there. Narcissus's desk is in the, this room. Maybe there's something to find there. Hair trimmer. Was this there a second ago? Did I just walk right past it? Or did it spawn in when we talked to her? A heartbreaker shaved Samson's head. Uh, sorry. Why did you do this? This, this is a nightmare. Oh my God. Narcissus is never going to look at me again. Oh my god, he cares so much about looks, and I'm a bald mess. You actually like that guy? I've been in love with him since I got here. I thought you'd know that already. Gossip runs wild on this floor. Yeah, I'm kind of new here. If I may ask, though, what the hell do you even see in that guy, anyway? I admire his confidence. He's a man who knows what he wants. He's very smart and incredibly cultured. He's also crazy hot. He used to be kind too, but since this whole honorary head of department thing happened, I've been making copies all day. Why does he need so many copies? And why is he so picky about them? It's literally just a copy. I've been doing everything for him, 
And he didn't even thank me, not even once. He didn't even care that I kept a secret. What secret? He stole Cupid's bow. He didn't want them to reunite the bosses. Don't tell him I told you that. Tired of doing favors for him. I won't keep a stupid secret anymore. Oh, it's the intern again. What did you manage to screw up this time? I know you have the bow. Give it up. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I used to have time for ridiculous office gossip back when I was a lowly employee like you. Now I have more important things to take care of. Now scram, go find something actually useful to do. Hey, can I borrow this mirror? Why do you... Actually, I get it. You look awful, honey. Like, absolutely terrible. I can't even look at you. Here, honey. You can have it. Be sure to bring it back. Oh my god, what now? Oh. What do we have here? Who is this handsome devil? Oh, the things I do to you. Do you have the bow? Huh? Yeah. Can I have it back? Yeah, sure, whatever. Can't you say I'm busy here? Now, where were we? All right, I was thinking about how beautiful you are. My bow! Oh, how I missed you. Did you break up their bickering? Not yet? It's okay. I gave you permission to use the bow of passion just this once. You did help us out a whole lot. All right. Uh, I'm not really sure if I should be shooting the bow, but... Maybe if you weren't so freaking stupid, you would, uh... Why do you look so freaking hot right now? What were we even talking about? I have absolutely no idea. Do you wanna... Right here? Hell yeah. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Can I get your signature on this letter of recommendation? I'm trying to get promoted. Sure, whatever. Show me this letter. There you go. Now just stay away from this office for the next six hours or so. We're going to be busy with some very important work. Also, please give, please give this bow back to Cupid. I don't trust you running around with something like that. Uh, should I just shut the door on my way out or... Oh, you guys have it. All right. Did he do it? Yeah. Finally, some peace and quiet. You can now work in peace. You do know that we don't do any work around here, right? Thought you'd have picked up on this by now. I had my suspicions. Here's your bow, by the way. All right. Task done. Office gossip. Uh, I don't like this floor. Hello, demon. Uh, hello. Do you know where I can find the manager of this floor? You must be talking about the cook. He's in the kitchen. Thanks. Who goes there? Uh, hello. I'm the new employee. Don't come too close or I'll take your blood. Unfortunately, I'm a demon. I have no blood for you. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Do you know where this floor's chief, uh, chief is? Oh, the cook. He's in the kitchen. When you see him, tell him I'll never work for him again. Okay. Hey, don't bother me. Wow, I was just going to ask you who's chief of this floor. You're looking for the cook, that son of a gun. He must be in the kitchen. Okay, thanks. Whatever. Hey. You must be the new kid, right? Huh. Beelzebub said your name. Harkin, am I right? Listen, kid, everything has been a mess here for some time now. What's happening? You know, hell is not a very fertile land, and we also can't create livestock here. But there are some demons and ghouls that must eat. How do you get food, then? 
So we have some sinners that we call Prometheans, and they, well, regenerate. Oh, yeah. But our current problem is the Prometheans decided to go on strike. They won't even talk to me. They used to give parts of their bodies for us to prepare food, and now, for some reason, they won't do it anymore. We just used the last limbs we had stored in the freezer, and the hungry demons will come any moment. And if they don't find their food, they'll come for us instead. And I'm sure I don't regenerate. And you want me to talk to the Prometheans? Yeah, they will not talk to me. Okay. But if I convince them to give their body parts again, uh, you will have to sign this letter of recommendation, okay? I've never seen that before, but I guess it's for our new employees. Sure, I'll sign it. Nice. I'll talk them over. Mice. They're too cute to eat. Dice. Why are these in the freezer? just mice and dice there's no ice there's no lice there's no nice there's no rice uh, who are the Prometheans Are you a Promethean? I am. Why are you on strike? Actually, my colleagues convinced me to enter the strike. I must admit, I don't know for sure how the hell works. What do you mean? I'm a knight, and my goal was to find the Holy Grail. My place is in heaven. How did you, how did you end up down here? Well, my search for the Grail was so intense, I looked inside all the chalices I could find, and that made me acquire a taste for the spirits. The Holy Spirits. No. Booze. In the end, I found the grail and was granted regeneration, but I came down here anyway. Oh, I see. Now how can I convince you to stop the strike? I'll only stop the strike if my friends tell me it's over. What if I bring you something to drink? Something to drink? Yeah, I might be able to bring something to you. Hmm. Can't let this temptation stain my honor. But a little sip wouldn't do any harm. Perfect. We have a deal. Can I get a drink? It's a bad look for the new laird to be drinking this early. It's not for me, I swear. It's for Sir uh, Guillaume. Oh, one of my finest customers. Send him my regards. Do you have the liquor? Yeah, I do. All I could find was this bottle. Oh, wine. I love this. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is very good. So, after you're done, do you think you can go back to working with the cook? Yeah, for sure. All right. Hi, vile creature. Why do you come to talk to me? You are a Promethean, aren't you? Yeah, I've had the gift of vampirism for a thousand years, which means my body regenerates. So, yes. Nice. And why are you on strike? Blood. I give all my blood to the cook, and he never gave me a single drop of the fresh stuff. I need blood to produce blood. If I bring you some blood, could you agree to at least talk to the cook? I will, but you need more than luck, as no vile creature from hell has fresh blood. I think I can find a way. Blood? Blood. Down the hatch. Blood, give it to me. Here you go. Ooh, wonderful blood. I love blood. Where did you find it? Apparently, there are gallons of blood on another floor. What? That was blood? How could I have never noticed it? I don't know, but why does the cook need your blood if there's just fresh gallons of the stuff? You offend me, demon. My blood is much more nutritious than mere human blood. I see. Will you go back and talk to the cook? I think so. He better let me visit that blood gallon every now and then. I'm sure he will. Hey, are you a Promethean? If that means I'm just a pawn for the cook to get his meat, then yes, I am. You seem, grump uh, you seem grumpy. Yes, I am. How did you guess? I don't know. Your expression and maybe your way of talking? The question was rhetorical, but yeah, I'm fed up. 
I mean, what's the deal with hell? I get that this is a pit of external of eternal suffering, but why do we have to give off parts of our bodies and get nothing back? After some eons, it gets tiring. Is that the reason you and your friends went on strike? Yeah, we were all fed up. I'm so nervous. I want my coffee. I haven't drank it in years. Do you think a cup of coffee would make you get calmer? I don't know, but it's been so long since I last drank a cup of joe. Okay then, I think I can arrange that. Uh, coffee machine. Is this a cup of coffee? Give me that. Ugh, this is boiling hot. You want me to get burned? Do you know how long burning the roof of my mouth would take to heal? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Uh, burn Manus's tongue. Ugh, take it back. I liked I, I like iced coffee. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me fix it. Mice. I looked through here earlier and didn't see any ice. Oh, that is ice. I didn't see that earlier. Is this a cup of iced coffee for me? It's your favorite after all. Oh, thanks. I needed that. So many years without caffeine made me too angry. Do you think you can go talk to the cook now? Yeah, I think so. I hope he has the decency to give me a coffee break once in a while. I also hope he does. Hello, are you by any chance one of those Prometheans the cook told me about? Indeed I am, my friends. My name is Mr. Hemsworth and you are... I'm new here. I'm helping the cook. Uh, why won't you help him anymore? That rascal, always demanding and never giving anything in exchange. I know I'm here to pay for my sins and in life I was not the best boss, but it wouldn't hurt if he did something for us sometimes. And what did you want him to do for you? We're famished, but it is contractually forbidden for us to eat on this floor. But the contract says nothing about drinks. You want something to drink? Yes, a beverage would be very good indeed. Something carbonated, uh, carbonated perhaps would do. And if I get you some soda, will you be friends with the cook again? I don't know about my fellows, but that would be enough for me, yes. Okay, then. Uh, so we need a soda. Obel not found. Insert obel for re refreshment. Uh, what's an obel? With those who lurk in the shadows. By the way, thanks for the blood earlier. You're welcome. Can't do anything with the snack machine. Have you got that soft drink we talked about, young child? No, not your, yet, sir. So go get that. Chop, chop. Uh, what's an oval? Like, in this context, I know what an oval is. So many coins here. It wouldn't hurt to take one. There we go. I asked about that earlier and then forgot about it. Mobile received. Dispensing refreshment. Soda. Soda. Is that what I think it is? Yes, sir. Oh, that's wonderful. Give it here. Ooh, that's scrumptious. So refreshing. So, will you go back to working for the cook now? You can uh, be sure I will. I hope he keeps providing me with these delicious beverages. I also hope so, my friend. Have you talked to them? What did they say? Yeah, I convinced them all. They're going to keep doing whatever they were doing before. All I had to do was give them some drinks. Oh my Satan, that makes sense. I never asked them if they were thirsty. With these working conditions, I'm surprised they didn't strike earlier. Hey, do you want to get that form signed or not? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to mind my own business. 
You better show me that form before I change my mind. Here you go. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cook. The foreign Prometheans. Stop the Promethean strike. You're welcome, kid. Come here later to eat something. Yeah, I guess I will. Here, Mr. Beelzebub, all the recommendations. That's good to see. I knew you would fit right in. Yeah, it was easy. Okay, since you earned it, I will promote you to Suffering Officer. Oh, that's very nice. It was your hard work, kid. You can now talk to the behemoth on the fourth floor. He can help you from now on. Thanks, Mr. Beelzebub. And we're out of items. So we can go up to the fourth floor. Accounting, customer service, and marketing. So it looks like it's going to be uh, sets of three. Please insert card. So we need a card. There's some of those coins that we needed. Hello, are you new here? Go talk to the behemoth. He's in that room right there. Thanks. Time, money, stonks. Hey there, newbie. I heard about what you've done on the lower floors. Impeccable job. But I'm going to have to get straight to the point. The work is not done. I need your help. What do you need, Mr. Behemoth? I need these closure forms for the three floors of this sector. It's ordinary stuff, but I need them signed today. What do I need to do? You need to get them signed by the managers of each floor from this sector, which is this one, the fifth, and the sixth. I need them signed as soon as possible. The managers may be busy, so help them with whatever they need so they can sign this okay. I think I can handle it. Hey friend, I, I see you talked to Behemoth. Yeah, he told me to go over to the manager's floors and ask them to sign these floors. I can do that, but first I have to open this vault, which is harder than I thought it. Why? Because I forgot the combination. Even though I'm th this floor's manager, the ones who are really in charge are the divinatory mages. Without the, combina uh, without the combination, only they can open this vault. Can't you talk to them? Those guys hate me. They don't even talk to me. I hate forgetting the combination, but it always happens. I usually remember, but this time it might just be different. Sorry, friend. I won't sign that until I solve this. I could try to convince the mages. You would do that for me? That would be great. Here, take my corporate credit card. You might need to buy something. Just try to not spend too much. Oh, okay. Dispensing money from account named Sisyphus. No more will be dispensed. Okay. Uh, not a fan of that one. I like that one. Uh. Hi, who are you? Why are you here? Uh, Sisyphus sent me here. Him? What does he want? He wants you and your friends to open the vault. Oh, we can't right now. You know, we're busy, literally de uh, divinating about how the stocks will behave in the next few days. For your information, we are the ones who hold the e economic structure of hell together. I get it, but you only have to push a button. Yeah, we can't do that. Maybe in a few days. Unless... Unless what? Unless you give us something in return. Like what? We like money, if you know what I mean. What you mean is quite literal, actually. So yeah, give us money, and we press that button for you. I'll see what I can do. Hey, 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 get this out of here. Why? It's money. It's dirty money. You were not thinking of giving me that, right? I actually was. Why is it dirty? This money is traceable. I can feel it comes from Sisyphus's bank account. You have to wash this money to cover the tracks. How do I do it? That's up to you. Do you have money with you? So what are you doing here? I'm busy. Oh. I'm going to wash this money.
literally washing the money. Oh, clean money. Money. Give it to me. Will you press the button? Yeah, yeah, of course. Precious money. Do we do this for all of them? Money! Money, 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 money! All right, Mage's request. We got the money. You convinced them. I can open the vault. Yeah. How did you get the money? Did you raise it or something? Yeah, for sure. That's great. You can give me back my credit card now. There you go. Okay, let's open this vault now. Hell is broke. Open Hell's vault. Hey, stranger. You woke me up. Hey, why is this vault empty? It just is. That's strange. Who are you? I am the safekeeper. I have taken care of this vault since the beginning of time. You did a pretty bad job. As I said before, the vault is empty. You don't know, do you? Know what? So, the truth is, hell is doomed. It always was. This vault was always empty because hell was always broke. But how did hell maintain itself for all this time? Here in hell, we thrive on suffering, not money. On earth, a vault full of money is normal. In hell, an empty vault causes suffering. So, hell isn't in danger? It is. From inside these walls, I can feel a lot of vibration coming from different places. Something big is about to happen, and those in charge know it very well. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm still a little drowsy. I want to go back to sleep. Okay, I guess. I'll let you sleep. Thank you. Vault is empty? I can't believe it. Yeah, that's unbelievable. You have to take this issue to higher ups. You're on the fast track to management. By the way, let me sign that form for, of yours. Just show it to me. Here's the form. Great, let me sign it. Thanks. All right, we got one. Five. Critice? Hey, hello. I've been sent here by a behemoth. Hello. Are you the angel that just turned into a demon? I've already heard of you. Oh, what a surprise. Anyway, I've been sent by behemoth to collect your signature on one of these forms. Hmm, a closure form. That's unusual. Ugh. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can feel a phone ringing and that makes me furious. Ugh. But you work on the customer service floor. Isn't that isn't normal that the phones are here ringing here? Yes, it is. But after some budget cuts a long time ago, there's no one to answer the phone. Uh -huh. After some time, they get under your skin. Oh. I hear nothing, though. It's because I'm a fury. We have very good hearing. Uh -huh. My sisters are actually better than me at that. I don't know what, uh, what they would do if they were in my place. Do you need help with the phones? Actually, I do, but you can't help me right now. Why is that? Because if you fall into that pit, you'll spend the rest of eternity in the depths of hell. But how can I help you then? First, you have to go to the respawn office right there and get a respawn license. Respawn? Yes, in hell, all the demons that have to work in dangerous conditions have to get a license. That way, if they get killed or their body is destroyed somehow, they can be reconstructed in a safe place. This is interesting. 
It is. And to answer those phones, you'll need that license. Uh -huh. Then I can sign that form of yours when I'm not hearing this unbearable sound again. Ah. All right. Respawn office. Hello, are you the respawn manager? Yes, it's me, one of Hell's oldest employees. I'm Medusa, but everyone calls me Dusa. Hey there, Dusa. So how do I get a respawn license? It's simple. You only need to sign these papers. This giant mountain of paper, you mean. It's not that big. It's one of the smallest contracts. The biggest ones can be kilometers long. Okay, uh, why is this document so big, though? You know, dying in hell is a mess. It takes a lot of logistics to bring a dead demon back to life. I know it by experience. What do you mean? I only work here because during my first year in hell, I kept turning a lot of people into stone by accident. The process to bring them back was insane. That's why they created this office and put me, of all people, in charge of it. I see. So I have to read all of this? Nah, nobody reads it. It's only the procedure. Okay, then. I'm going to sign it. I guess this is it. Now you are officially able to respawn. Are you sure? Yes, it's all done. You can go there and die with no worries. Nice, thanks a lot. I see you've got yourself a respawn license. You seem different. Are you for real? Yes, those are the effects of signing an extremely and unnecessarily extensive document that has a technically simple objective. Oh yeah, I understood everything you just said. Anyways, you can now talk to Jerry, the bony guy right there. He'll open the gates for you so you can start answering those phones. Okay, thank you. I have a respawn license. Can you let me pass? For sure, my dude. I can feel the res respawn essence on you. This phone isn't ringing. Hey there, Hell's Customer Service. How can I help? Hello, I'm from Purgatory's Accounting Department. I'm calling to discuss Hell's debt. Debt? What are you talking about? The uh, six quadrillion gold obols that Purgatory loaned to Hell about? Uh, 100,000 years or so ago? Wow, that's a huge number. Yeah, I couldn't find a working phone, and I've been calling for some time now. How can we discuss it? Well, I'm really not able to answer that right now, but I can talk to my superior. That won't help. I need an immediate answer to this. It's a very serious matter and... Hello? Hello? They hung up. Or the line was cut. Hellink Customer Service, how can I help? Hello, it's Glenn. I'm a journalist at Independent United Press. I'm calling to talk about Hell's deficit. Deficit? Yeah, the fact that Hell is barely accepting sinners anymore. And that nearly all the dead are going to Purgatory's Medical Center, or Heaven's uh, Aleatorium? I really don't know any of that. You can't be serious. First, Hell closes nearly all forms of communications. Then we hear insider information of deals being made with oil companies. Now, the first answered call in so long is with someone that has no idea of what's happening. You can't be serious. I don't know what to say. I'm only working to help Critice, the customer service director. Cut the lies, kid. Hell situation doesn't smell good. And if I were you, I'd start talking because... Hello? The line was cut again. That's odd. Hello? Hey, Mr. Elego Fly. What? The reception is very bad. I really can't hear you. I'm calling. Why are you calling? I'm calling to know how our child is doing. Are they getting into much trouble? Who? The one that just fell. The, the feisty one. Do they remember anything about the... Hello? Oh my. Lines are being cut a lot today. Hello? This is an automated message from Apocalypse Toys Co. This call is to confirm the shipment of 150 billion rubber ducks to the dependencies of hell. The shipment will arrive in 48 working days. Thank you for trusting Apocalypse Toy Co. Why would hell buy a lot of rubber ducks? 
Especially when it's going through a hard time like this. Hello, hello? Hello, who's this? You know who I am. You made the best deal ever with me. Come on, don't you remember? I really don't know who you are. Hey, mister, don't play dumb. This is Jack Kemp from Mega Oil. Mega Oil? Hey, this is starting to annoy me. Mr. Elegofly, we have a huge deal on our hands, and we have to start preparing the ground for the sale. Sale? Who is Elegofly? Wait, aren't you Elegofly? Oh my, all, your, all you demons sound the same. Wait, tell me about that cell. Hello? He hung up, he hung up on me. Uh, answer all the phones. Oh, the silence. It's so wonderful. Oh my god. Uh, I think I answered all the calls. That's perfect. Have you solved all our clients' problems? So, that's the strange part. Most of them were people trying to collect on loans that Hell apparently defaulted on, or shipping confirmations. That's not good, I think. It isn't. Maybe you could talk to Behemoth to see if he knows something. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Maybe he can figure it out. Oh, by the way, where's that form? Here it is. Can you sign it? I sure can. That's great. Thanks. All right. One more. Uh, extravaganza. Word bubbles. Three more Moira. Hello, child. We see your path has been very hard. We also see what you want from us. You want that form signed by us, right? I guess so. But your path isn't finished yet. We need your help, noble demon. We feel a huge discernment ahead. And you are the only hope. What do you mean? You will bring back hope. Hope that there is justice, even in the most vile place. Social media. That's where hope lies. Take this phone and get your fellow employees to follow hell on social media. You want me to gather followers for the company page? Yes, that's pretty much it. Gather at least 10 followers so then we can sing your form, uh, sign your form and you can continue your journey. Okay, then. Uh, bear. Hello. The Moira's asked me to gather uh, follows for the Hellink social media page. Could you follow? Of course. Here it is. Wow, you have a lot of followers. Yeah, people used to follow me a lot. Because you're a bear in a ball cap? Or whatever that is. Brand. Uh, social creativity. I don't like that one. Hey there, Mr. Minotaur. Would you care to follow Hellink on social media? Uh, I don't have one of those, I guess. Oh, I see. Thanks anyway. Um, is that everyone on this floor? I guess let's go back down. Hey, Critice, do you want to follow the company on social media? Sorry, I can't. My sisters can't see that I have a social media account. They'll ask me why I don't follow them. And why don't you follow them? All they do is send me rants. Hey, Jerry, would you mind following Hell Inc. on social media? Sure. I love scrolling while I have nothing to do. Thanks. Are you the same skeleton model from the, uh, oh, what was that? Can't remember what it was. I think I've seen that skeleton model before. Hey, Dusa, would you mind following Hell on social media? I wouldn't, darling. Thanks for asking. Hello, Mr. Sisyphus. Could you follow Hell on social media? 
I sure will. I love to check my social media. I get sad because of it every day. But the next day, I'm there again. Too real. I won't follow him. Leave me alone. Hey, would you follow Hell Inc. on social media? No, I won't. I'm guessing you're all the same. I'm divinating. I'm divinating. I'm divinating. Okay. It was worth a try. Hello, sir. Can you follow Hell on social media? Yeah, yes, of course, my friend. Hello, Clog. Can you, uh, can you follow Hell Inc. on social media? I can't. I only follow my prey into the night. Relatable. Hey, can you follow Hell Inc. on social media? Yeah, after that cup of coffee, I can get into the web with no worries. Hello, Mr. Hemsworth. Can you follow Hell on social media? I'm too old for that. Hey, Cook, can you take a little time and follow Hell on social media? Of course, friend. Hey there, Cleopatra. Can you follow Hell Inc. on social media? The Gaul, asking for my help after giving away my precious mirror. You're lucky that I take social media very seriously. I'll follow, but only on the condition that you follow me back. Thanks. Hello, can you follow Hell on social media? I can't do that. Can't you see I'm mixing drinks? I can't, actually. Hey, Cupid, do you want to follow Hell Inc. on social media? Of course, count me in. Hey there. Hello. Can you follow Hell Inc. on social media? Sorry, babe. I would if I could. But I lost my phone. That's sad. Has it been six hours already? Hey there. Can you follow the company on social media? Sure. We'll follow it with our couples account. Thanks. You did it. You gathered the followers. The social media page is a success. There is hope in hell. Yeah. The strings of destiny were strengthened today. Thanks to you. And thanks to you again. They'll be even stronger. Now show us the faded document. Uh, Internet celebrity help boost hell's social media page. The document is signed. Now go. Okay. Uh, is this nothing? Looks like it should be something. That looks like a portal over there. Hello, who are you? I am the Minotaur. I protect this bridge. From what? From anyone that tries to cross it, I guess. Why? I... I don't know. That is strange. Alright then. Did you already get the signatures? You're too fast. Yeah, I guess so. Your work was great. These forms are essential for the future of the company. Speaking of, I noticed some strange things while talking to the managers of the floors. There is some irregular stuff going on. Irregular? What do you mean? Well, for starters, the accounting vault is empty. The customer service floor has no customers. There's rumors that something bad is happening to the company. It looks like something is keeping hell from making progress, and higher management doesn't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Are you talking about a conspiracy? I don't want to use that word, but it all seems so strange. Hey, kid, if I, if I were you, I would focus on working hard, continuing to evolve, and not listening to rumors about other employees. Remember, gossip is on the second floor. Do you want to work there again? No, sir. I thought so. I can assure you, hell is going to be fine. We've been on this path for eons, and we're not going to be shaken by a little recession. We can withstand a lot more. Okay, then. Okay, let's move on to the good stuff. You've been promoted. Seriously? Yeah, you're working for Baphomet now. He's on the seventh floor, waiting for you. That's good, I guess. Cheer up, kid. You deserve it. Legal planning VIP. Do you have an appointment? I guess not. Mr. Malakota only sees people who have an appointment. Now scram. Oh. 
Hey there, Harkin. How are you? How do you know my name? Well, your work precedes you. I have been hearing about you from Beelzebub and Behemoth for some time now. Wow, that's great, I guess. Yeah. Are you ready to do a big task for me? I think I am, but I have something to talk to you about first. Go ahead. So, I've been hearing some things around the building while I was doing some errands for the directors. I'm a little worried, actually. Uh, the vaults are empty. I answered some strange calls talking about an oil cell and about hell owing a lot of money to purgatory. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. Uh, it's, it's not a joke, sir. It's serious. I tried to talk to Behemoth, but he seemed to just brush it off. Listen, I understand that you're new here and you might be feeling overwhelmed. But I assure you, I have everything under control. If Behemoth said to brush it off, then do it. But sir, hey, why don't you do this? Do a little errand for me. Simple stuff. Then talk to Malakota on this floor. Who's that? He's Hell's lawyer. He'll tell you everything is fine. And what's the errand? Deliver these letters to the princes of hell on the VIP floor. The last one. Oh, they seem important. What is it? It doesn't matter, okay? Don't open them. Okay. If you want to talk to Malakota sometime, just say a riddle to his secretary. If you fool the crocodile, they'll open Malakota's office, and you'll be able to talk to him. Okay, then. Now go, kid. And don't stress over those dumb matters. Hello, being of light. How do you know I'm an angel? Because I do. I need to speak with the princes of uh, the princes of hell. I have letters to deliver to them. Unfortunately, I cannot let you in. But Baphomet himself sent me here. I know, divine creature, but he knows very well that I would not let you pass. Why? Because you are still an angel. He wants to train you for some reason. I mean, yes, I'm an angel, but I need to enter the floor. Something is wrong with hell. And I need to talk to the devil and deliver these letters. Your goals are noble, and that is why I cannot let you pass. This floor is reserved for traitors, only those who would do anything for their own interests. They are the dirtiest, wisest, and most terrible of creatures. And even if I wanted to, I could not let you pass, because I have been trying to pass for years and never succeeded. Why do you want to go there? Because my loved one is in heaven, at the Alatorium, and there is only one way to enter there, going through the devil's den. But this floor knows if you are a true traitor, and none of us are. Therefore, we will not pass. So I would have to do something shady for you to let me pass. Yes. What if I somehow bribe you? There is nothing in the world that I would accept. Nothing at all? Nothing that you desire? The only thing that I desire is in heaven, how I miss her, my Beatrice. I barely remember her face. I had an amulet with her photo, but I lost it somewhere in hell. Hmm, maybe that's a hint. What did you say? Nothing. Very well. Go, creature, and continue your journey through hell. Okay. Actually, uh, this looks promising, question mark. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? Uh, nothing, I guess. Good for you. Uh, that seems to be a bomb. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Uh, why are you so worried? Can't you see? There's a bomb on the table. Wow, why is it there? I don't know. I'm just an intern. I went to the second floor to make copies, and when I came back, it was here. That's serious. Oh my, if I don't do so do something about it, uh, I will totally get fired. Or you might die. After all, it's a bomb. Oh, that doesn't worry me. Anyway, can you help me? I guess. Do you have any clue who planted the bomb here? I don't know. It was one of them, the planners. That doesn't help me. 
I really don't know. They're capable of anything. They've been at war for ages. Why? Planning. Each one of them thinks that their plan is more effective than the others. They've become so obsessed they started a war. Wow, that's a bit radical. It doesn't matter. If this bomb shows up in my report, I can say goodbye to this job. I'll talk to them and try to see which one put the bomb. Thanks a lot, friend. Hey there. What's up? Who are you? I'm here because David is worried about that bomb. That guy, he can die worried if he want. Why? He's a clown, always trying to make peace. How will he make peace if I'm working with those dumb guys? The other planners? Yeah, those guys want to live in the Stone Age. That's their problem. But they want to drag the company with them. Now it's personal. Stone Age? Yeah, they hate the idea of using computers to do all the planning. It's so simple and intuitive. You only have to sit down and press some buttons on the keyboard. Seems easy. It is, but guys like that clown, Debbie, want to do everything manually. I wouldn't be surprised if she had something to do with that bomb you mentioned. Why is that? It seems like her style. She loves to seem mean and dangerous, but is a coward. What do you mean? That lady is afraid of any kind of threat. If you threatened her, maybe she would let something out about the bomb. Would she? She sure would. If you do it with a weapon, she will be very scared. Noted. Uh, so we need a weapon. I need a weapon. Uh, this one is legitimately good, though. Uh, do you have a weapon? Hey, are you one of the planners? Why? Were you sent by the others? No, I'm here because of that bomb. Oh, that. I have nothing to do with that. Are you sure? Yep. What are you, an arc or something? No, I'm just worried that the swarm might get blown up into pieces. Would it be so bad? They already want to destroy Hell's planning system. Why is that? They want all the planning to be done here by them instead of letting everyone have a voice. They said everything will get held up if we wait for others to chime in. But in the end, all that does is make the rest of Hell upset when they do something no one wanted. And that in turn, always trying to comp compromise instead of coming to my side, which is obviously the right one. I guess he just doesn't know what to do at all around here. In HR, the cockatiel guy, he gets under my feathers. Actually, maybe I can help you. What do you mean? I think HR might have something to do with that bomb. How do you know that? He's always on that computer. It's actually where he stores all his planning data. If that computer suddenly broke or something, maybe he would talk to you about the bomb. You want me to destroy his computer? Yeah, I think it might help freshen his memory up. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, sabotage the cockatiels. This is the computer I need to blow up, I think. And how am I going to do that? Hey there. Hi, what do you want? I want to know about that bomb. Do you know something about it? I might know. Will you do something about it? I just want to disarm it so the sword doesn't blow up. If it blew up, at least the other guys would learn a lesson. What do you mean? They have wrong ideas about what planning means. And what do you think planning means? I think only the ones capable of doing it, which is us, must do it. You don't see me meddling with matters of other floors, do you? I guess not. Exactly, but the other guys don't see it. And Joey is the dumbest of them all. He and that sparrow, David, the intern. Actually, I think I heard Joey say something about a bomb. Have you? Yeah, that crow has something to do with that for sure. And how can I make him confess? Well, I see he and his friends steal a lot of coins and shiny stuff. I'm sure he likes those types of things. Shiny things. Yeah. I'll try to find something. That guy will get hypnotized. Hey, what about Joey? How could I make him talk again? Give something shiny to him. I had a golden knife that was very shiny, but I threw it somewhere and don't remember where. I'll try to find it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Only this shiny knife. Wow, that's so beautiful. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. 
Yeah, I agree. Can you give it to me? Yes, but only if you tell me what's your connection with that bomb. Me and the other guys planted it. I helped connect the wires. I only remember the second digit, which is two. Thanks. Now give it to me. All right. Is there a weapon back here? Do you have a weapon? Oh my, I hope they don't have that gun again. Gun? Yeah, they had a gun once, but they were fighting and I threw it in a trash can. It must be still there if they didn't find it. A uh, trash can. Oh, there it is. Gun. Hey, I have a little matter I want to talk to you about. What? HR told me you might know something I need to know. Hey, point that thing away from me, please. Only if you start talking. About what? What do you mean? I'm scared. About the bomb? Don't play dumb with me. Oh, the bomb. I helped plan it. It was my job to get the explosives. And what's the combination to disarm it? I don't remember. I only remember the third digit was three, I swear. Good. Now, go away, please. Rise against the machine. Blow up the computer. Hey, you destroyed my computer. Why did you do that? So you would tell me about the bomb. You didn't need to use violence. I only helped put the number pad on the bomb. I think the first digit of the code was one or something. Cool. Thanks. One. You did it? Yeah. It seems that somehow all of them agreed on one thing. Put the bomb here. What do you mean? I think they hate you more than they hate each other. Wow, those... But what matters is that the combination is one, two, three. I forgot they had bird brains and couldn't think of anything compl uh, complex. I should have tried that combination. It isn't that obvious. Anyways, let's try it. It worked. Thanks a lot. I said I would help. Here, take this as a token of my appreciation. I found it here and it doesn't belong to any of the planners. Oh, that's nice. Is that one half of my amulet? Where did you find it? Somewhere in hell, like you said. Good try, but I won't let you pass. Just that half won't be capable of making me remember her face. All right. Uh, what if I told you a riddle? What? Yes, a riddle. Say it. Say it now. Uh, hmm. Are you having problems? What is something that the more you go up, the more you also go down? Oh, that's a good one. Is it a ladder? No, you're wrong. You have one more try. Hmm. I don't know. Damn it. A road? A pit? An elevator? No, none of those. What is it then? The path of sin. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously, seriously. Yes. Now let me talk to Malakota. Okay, you won. I bet Botham might ask you to tell me a riddle. Yep, it was him. You know, you could have just told me he sent you. It would have been enough. Hello, Mr. Malakota. Hey there. You're the recently fallen angel, am I right? Uh, yes, I guess I am. Not too many angels fall nowadays, but let's change subjects. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Baphomet told me to talk to you if I was worried. Worried about what? I've been hearing some serious rumors around hell. Like what? More than one person I talked to said that something very bad was going to happen to hell. And some of them were clairvoyant. I see... And you're worried because you heard some rumors. Actually, yeah. I also talked to the guys in accounting, and Hell's vaults are empty. And in customer service, I heard that Hell is not accepting people in anymore. That's strange, but you don't have any concrete proof, do you? I don't. I only heard things. Yeah, we can't do much with that, can we? I guess we can't. 
But I can assure you, friend, hell is in good hands. Earth has been passing through some recessions lately, and that reflects in hell. But that's nothing to worry about. We've been through worse. Everyone tells me that, but it doesn't ease my anxiety. I know, but that's how things are. Yeah, I guess we can't see the future. Wait, maybe you can. What do you mean? You see, this floor used to be a huge library once. We salvaged some books and turned them into my office. But there's one book. One book that's stuck in a room no one can access in years. Uh, you mean the room to the right of the elevators? Yeah, that one. There's a book inside it, the Book of Destiny. Everything that has happened is happening, and has yet to happen is written in there. Why is the room locked? I guess an intern locked it from the inside and something happened to them. Wow. Yeah, but like I said, the room is locked and we don't have another key. But if the tales are correct, there is a portal that leads into that room. A portal? Yes, they say somewhere in hell there's a bridge that leads to a portal. Oh, I might have seen something like that. But the bridge is guarded by a terrible beast, so you have to be careful. If that's the same bridge I'm thinking of, the myths might be a little exaggerated. Anyway, if you can find a way into that portal and into the room, you might get the book. That would be great. And I will also be able to see what horse will win the race next week. Yeah. Wait, what? I do a little horse betting on the side. Isn't it a little Im immoral to use a book with everything written inside to know which horse you should bet on? I'm a lawyer. There's nothing immoral to me. Okay, then. I'm going to find that book. Great. Uh, marketing. Hey, I need to cross that bridge. I, unfortunately, can't let you pass. But Malakota said I have to get the book that's on the other side of this bridge. It doesn't matter who told you what. My orders are to let no one pass. Why is that? I don't know. That's strange. It is, isn't it? I mean, I had a long time to think about this. About how hell has evolved and changed. When I came to work here, it wasn't a building nor a company. But the bridge was already here and I had to take care of it. And you never knew why. I guess in the beginning I knew. There were a lot of ang angry sinners being tortured. And I had to make sure they didn't go places they shouldn't. But now, Hell's a company, and the demons and sinners work together. This bridge makes no sense. You know what? I would do anything to work anywhere else in this building. There must be so many cool things to see. I think I might be able to help you. You do? It would be awesome. Yeah. Then you'd let me pass? I mean, I wouldn't be working on the bridge anymore, so it wouldn't be my problem. Okay, then. I'm going to go talk to the guys that brought me into the company, and I'll see if there are any open positions. It's perfect. All right. Hey, Virgil. Hey, kid. How are you? I heard you're adapting well to being a demon. Sure. I'm now doing a thing for Malakota. Oh, I love that guy. He tells the best jokes. He's very cool, but I'm actually trying to help the Minotaur. Don't know if you know him. Oh, yes, I know him. He guards a bridge on the sixth floor, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to get a new job for him. Are you? Why? He just doesn't like guarding a bridge anymore. It lost all meaning for him. That's sad. I hate to see a fellow employee sad with their work. Yeah, me too. I came to ask if you know of any available spots anywhere in the company. I might actually know one. You see, Aristotle, he's also sad with his position, and we were planning on finally retiring him. He deserves it. So Minotaur could be Limbo's new receptionist? That's right. Take this proposition to him and it's all done. Oh, that's strangely easy. Yeah, some things in hell are like this.
Not ever. Not ever. Not ever. Not ever. <laughs> what does him being Greek have to do with anything? Doesn't matter. Go talk to Virgil and he'll be able to tell you more. You are Greek spring gifts. I have good news for you. Do you? I'm so excited. Yeah, I talked to Virgil and there's an open position for a receptionist in limbo. Oh, that would be great. I'd love that. So yeah, here's the proposition for you. That's wonderful. It says I can start working there today. Great. So will you let me pass now? For sure. Anything behind the portal? Nothing behind the portal. Walk through the portal. Take the Book of Destiny. The book. Find the Book of Destiny. Anything I would know? Oh. Oh no. Poor guy died in here. Zzz. Oh, never mind. Hey, is this the book? Yeah, that's exactly it. Let me see. Wow. What? What do you see? War. War? What do you mean? The horse. War. I knew I should have bet on war. He's recovering from an injury, but is indeed a great horse. Focus, Malkata. What about hell? Oh yeah, there's that. Let me see here. Hmm, okay. I see. What? What? Hell is being sold. What do you mean? It's too late. Hell's in the process of being sold to an oil company. It's already in the final stages of negotiation. What do we do? You have to find a way to talk to the devil as soon as you can. Oh, where can I do it? He's in the last floor, the ninth, but Cerberus is guarding the elevator. You must have permission to go in there. Permission from who? From Baphomet, I think. So I must do this letter thing he asked me to do. Yeah, do what you have to do and go talk to the devil. He has to know about this. And here, take the book back. Why? Because it's telling me that you must have the book. Wow. And you must also have this weird broken picture thing I found, and for some reason kept with me until now. Uh, that's specific. That's it. Now go! It's her. It's my love. I knew I would find it. My god, she's so beautiful. Now I remember. I'm suffering right now, not being able to be by her side. Why did you make me suffer like this? It wasn't my intention. It was. You wanted any means to pass through these gates, and now you cause my suffering. Maybe you are really a demon. No, I'm sorry. Work with me, kid. The floor has to think that you betrayed me. Why did you do this to me? I will never have peace again. Uh, yes. Yes. I just wanted to see your suffering. I know. In the end, you are a true traitor and a wicked demon. Go on, creature of heaven. Only you can save this place. Thank you, Lord Dante. Uh, remember her face. Give Dante the locket. Um, that's what we need. Hello. Hi, Mistress Modius. I have a letter from Baphomet for you. A letter? What could it be? Hand it here, please. Oh, some great news for change. Thank you for your services, darling. Do you need coin or something? I guess not. Hey, what is your business? I have a letter from Baphomet. Baphomet? A letter from him would only mean one thing. Let me see. I see, it's close, okay. What is close? It's none of your concern, my dear. Courier? Uh, where? Uh, in Pony Island. Uh, you told me to tell your name to Asmodeus. But when I did, he didn't do anything. So what the fuck was that about? I'll get out of here.
Hello, Mr. Stolas. I have a letter for you. A letter? From whom? From Baphomet. Oh, it must be concerning the important matter. It sure is. Thank you. You're welcome. Seems like Baphomet is probably in on this deal to sell hell. Hey, Mr. Ball, I have a letter for you. It's from Baphomet, right? It is. I already know what it is. Give it here. Oh, yes, just what I was thinking. What is it? You'll know soon enough. I delivered the letters. You did a great job. Kid, I can easily see you making it to the board of directors one day. It's sad that I never will. Why do you say that? Because hell is being sold to a company called Mega Oil. What? How do you know that company? I put the pieces together. Kid, you're making serious accusations right now. That could get you fired, or worse. I don't care. I demand to go talk to Lucifer right now. What? You demand what? I want to talk to Lucifer. I want access to the elevator that goes to the Devil's Den, and I know you can give me access. So, you can do what? Unsell hell? So I can do something about it. And what exactly do you think Lucifer will do? He's the king of hell. That doesn't mean anything. You know, hell was once great. Our names evoked fear in the mortals. Our pits were home to suffering and screams. Now we are a shadow of what we once were. Corporate puppies. We discussed how we would take over heaven and how we would torture the damned. Now we only gossip at the water fountain and make photocopies. And Lucifer is part of that decline. He hid in his pit a long time ago and never came out. He can't do anything anymore. The deal is closed. You're part of this. Everyone that had any sense of preservation is. Hell is doomed. We're just helping it have a nobler end. Who else is in on this? All the directors. We all decided to close the deal behind the devil's back. But what about all the employees? Do you think I give a damn about the damn employees? They're already in hell. What could be worse? You're a monster. No, I'm a demon. At least I know what I am. What about you, little angel? I don't care. Go talk to Lucifer and see what he has to say to you. He's probably in his den crying again. This won't go well for you. For any of you. You have too much faith. Maybe it really was a mistake you fell. This is the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Wolf, I can smell you. What? You have permission. I can smell it on you. Yeah, Baphomet let me pass. Wow, you must be really dumb or really important. Wolf. Hello? Well, hey there. Are you Lucifer, the devil? I sure am, in the flesh. Why the surprise? Thought you would be more menacing. Well, thousands and thousands of years of fire and brimstones don't do any good for the skin. I see. Well, Mr. Lucifer, I come here to warn you. Warn me about what? Did my tea run out? No, worse than that. Hell's in danger. What do you mean? Spit it out. Directors are planning to sell hell. Oh, I see. What do you mean, I see? Did you know about this? Actually, no, but I can't do nothing about it. How? You're the devil. You own this company. I do, but I haven't controlled it for a long time now. So you're willing to let hell be wasted by some oil company just because you're afraid? What can I do about it? I'm old now. Don't think I'm the same ravenous devil from erstwhile. But you're the boss of hell. If you can't do it, then who can? I don't know, young one. But why? Why did you give up on hell? I love hell. But when you try to organize a place made out of chaos, there's only so much you can do. I ended up seeing my dream project slowly getting corrupted. And I couldn't watch that anymore. So I hid in my den, and I've been here ever since. It's not much, but it's something. 
think I understand. But I won't give up on hell. I love to see your stubbornness. But who are you? I'm an angel. Actually, I fell. But even though I want to save hell, I know my place is not here. A recently fallen angel may have an idea. What? I think you might be able to get more attention to this matter if you talk to the game master. The game master? But how will I do it? Don't underestimate me. Don't underestimate me, kid. I have a path that goes directly into heaven. But how? You aren't the only fallen angel, kid. Just keep in mind that heaven and hell are more connected than it seems. Now go, enter that door, and you'll make it to heaven in no time. Thank you, Mr. Lucifer. You're definitely not as bad as they paint you. I guess that time has made me soft. So our angel or demon friend ventures once again into the aleatorium, aleatorium, or heaven if you wish. The angel runs through well-known slot machines and poker tables, looking for the game master's chambers. When the angel finds the doors, they are being guarded by Metatron. What are you doing here, he says. You shouldn't be here, you're a demon now. You're right, but I have to talk to the game master. The former, former angel says, hell's in danger. In danger? Ha <laughs> ha. Do you think the game master is going to fall for that? It's true. It's all written in this book. When Metatron sees the Book of Destiny, his tone immediately changes. How did you get that? You know what? Give me this. Metatron grabs the book and runs away, leaving the door unprotected. Our angel friend enters the Game Master's chambers. Hello, child, says the Game Master. Hello, Master, says the angel, bowing in respect. You don't need to do that since you don't answer to me anymore. Why do you venture here? Then the angel tells it all, how Hell's bosses are betraying the devil and plotting to sell it. The Game Master listens to it all in silence. You need to help Hell, the angel exclaims when finishing the story. I can do that, the Game Master says, but first there must be a trial. The trial is held in limbo. The Game Master stands as judge, Metatron as the scribe, and Hell's bosses are the defendants. Malakota is not allowed to be in the courtroom, but he promises the angel he'll help by providing evidence. The angel must convince the game master that hell is innocent and the bosses are the culprits. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, evidence. Where am I taking it? What am I doing? Ah. Come over here. Ah. Why? Let me up. Let me up. Oh my god. Why is there platforming? thing. Oh my god.
Where is he? Up there. Oh my god. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> Press the jump button. Go. Oh my god, it's like right behind me. Game Master. Again, isn't he? Where's the fly? Oh, it's an eye now. Is it an eye? What is happening? Oh. How do I get over there? Why is he upstairs again? Go. Oh my god. Oh my god, go. Get up there. Oh, on the thing. Stop coming up. Actually, that one worked out. Laser beam. Sharks with laser beams attach their heads. Uh, hello? I missed it. We did it! Redemption!
We saved hell. Wait. Uh, oh. The angel did it. Hell was saved. The trial brought up a lot of evidence against the directors. They were proven guilty by the angel and arrested for their crimes of conspiracy and corruption. But in a turn of events, a new participation in the plot to sell hell was discovered. Metatron, a new participant in the plot to hell, to sell hell. Metatron, the angel who was responsible for guarding all of heaven's knowledge in the game master's chambers. Turns out he used that knowledge to make a deal with the demons to have a stake in hell's cell. Our hero, the angel, was actually a victim. Metatron made the angel fall after eavesdropping in a conversation between him and Baphomet. The angel lost their memory in the fall. It was supposed to be a perfect plan, but the angel's determination won in the end. After the trial, Lucifer started leaving his den more and more. The employees at Hell needed a leading figure after the three bosses were arrested. And our hero got to prove their value and become an angel once again. But the angel, who is now an angel officially, gets permission to visit their friends in Hell whenever they want. Heaven and Hell are at peace once and for all, or at least until the next apocalyptic event. Hell is saved. Complete the game. Alright. I'm gonna let the credits roll. I'll give my thoughts and then I need to go see my girlfriend's stream. You heart. Studios. Dread XP, positively spooky. All right, let's get out of there. Uh, I'm missing three achievements. Get a maximum amount of followers for Hell's social media page. Find Polaris and uh, steal Cupid's bow. So I think you must be able to steal Cupid's bow before you can um, get it from Narcissus. Uh, so I liked the writing in that one a lot. Um, I liked the style of it. The, the kind of paper cutout style was really cool. Um, you don't see that kind of cutout paper, uh, collage style in a bunch of games. So it definitely had a unique feel. Um, the writing for each floor seemed pretty cool. Uh, the fact that like everyone in, um, the second floor, uh, was kind of self-absorbed and kind of selfish. Uh, you could pick up on that that theme. Uh, the part about the planners hating the intern more than they hated each other. That one was cool. Uh, there were a lot of like little clever moments and a lot of uh, a little um, a lot of little flavors to it. Right? Uh, it's a it's a really a game of flavors and different um, different really cool things. Uh, all uh, put together into, um, the same stew, uh, the ending, when you go back to heaven and it becomes a visual novel all of, all of a sudden, uh, very strange. Um, I think that it would have been better if like you went through the doors and then you wound up in the heaven casino environment, uh, and you went and talked to Met, uh, Metatron, uh, like you normally would. 
Um, I'm not sure why it switched to the the visual novel style all of a sudden. It seemed like a very strange choice to me. Um, after that uh, was the the platforming game. Excuse me. Uh, after that was the platforming game. Um, the platforming was a little bit awkward. Uh, it felt like I was hitting edges and hitting colliders and kind of bouncing off of stuff. Um, I'm not sure why this uh, adventure game ended with a platforming section. Kind of a weird choice. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of what I would do to improve it. I'm not sure how I would improve that last section. It is cool to have like a mini game as the the ultimate um, setup to everything. I'm just not sure I would have done the the first person platforming. Uh, but yeah, that's all the thoughts that I have. Uh, what did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, what are your thoughts? I'm going to get out of here. My girlfriend is streaming right now. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Steadfast Dragon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go watch her. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me for another night of strange and scary games. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.